Good morning, Faith Lutheran, and welcome to the first newscast of 2012. I'm Zach Friel. And I'm Alicia Lowe. I hope you all had a great Christmas break. Speaking of Christmas break, what did you get? Let's go to Zach Grant with more. Hi, I'm Zach Grant reporting on what you guys got for Christmas. Um, I got a MacBook Air, which is pretty exciting. I got a pull up bar so I can get swole, and I don't really feel like going to the gym. I got a paintball gun, wrestling stuff, and some money. I got the new XO BB Core baseball bat with cleats. Let's go see who they got their presents from. Um, my brother, he had, he had the college discount, so. Santa, obviously. My parents did, and I also got money from other family members. My mom, my lovely, caring mom got me that present. Did they get everything they wanted for Christmas? Oh, well, I didn't really want anything special, but that was pretty cool. Well, Santa didn't bring me my uh, cherry red Ferrari, so we were close. I got um, pretty much everything. I just didn't get shoes that I wanted. No, I did not get what I wanted for Christmas. Um, I wanted the new Modern Warfare 3 for Xbox. Clearly, people all over Faith got many different things for Christmas. For FLTV, I'm Zachary Grant. Thanks, Zach. Did you know 50% of people within 24 hours of New Year's break their resolution? No, Zach, I didn't know that. Let's see if Trenton found any people willing to take the challenge. Students, tell us what their New Year's resolutions are. My New Year's resolution is to win the Portland tournament in uh, uh, February. Um, probably not to make my mom as mad as I did in 2011. Um, I'm probably going to finish Skyward Sword. My New Year's resolution is to get good grades. Although some people pick their New Year's resolutions, others do not. Well, this year Mrs. Hazen and I decided to do something different, and instead of giving ourselves New Year's resolutions, we gave them to each other as a way to keep each other motivated. So this year Mrs. Hazen selected for me to do a better job testing my blood sugar so that I have better control of my diabetes. Mr. Hazen tells us if he thinks any of his students will keep their New Year's resolutions. I honestly haven't even heard of my students having resolutions, but I'm assuming if, if they're like me when I make my own, there's, yeah, literally no chance of that happening. I hope all the students accomplish their New Year's resolutions. For FLTV, I'm Trenton May, signing off. Thanks, Trenton. Many kids are excited to help out within the community. I know I had a blast. Let's go to Matt Sherman with more on that story. Students told us how it feels to help out others. It made me feel good because they don't have a lot and I got to help them, make them feel better. It actually felt really good. I got to meet a lot of nice people and it was a lot of fun. We asked students how they felt before the event. Um, I'm excited to go out with my advisory class. I'm a little nervous because I don't know where we're going specifically because we're painting graffiti, but I'm excited. We also asked their opinions on the service event. Um, I feel good about it. It's something that every middle school student gets to do, and it kind of lets them see what's going on outside of our school. Really good because it feels good to do something for someone else. The service event was a big success this year. Oh my gosh, Jason, are you all right? Let me help you up. <laughs> and helping others out sure feels good too. For FLTV, I'm Matt Sherman, signing off. Kids at Faith agree the new snack bar is a great way to get an after school snack. Michael Fingers has more on this tasty new addition to Faith. You have a slice? Faith Lutheran opened a snack bar that's in the front entrance of the gym. The snack bar will sell all sorts of delicious food. Oh, I got pizza for five bucks, two pieces for five bucks. No, oh, usually I get two honey buns and it, I'm good. I thought it was very delicious, but Adam McLaughlin ate all the pepperoni. Uh, I enjoy it a lot because uh, before lacrosse I get to go eat food. Students know that they are lucky to have snacks at school. Oh yes, I am very glad. Yes, because... Uh, I'm not hungry anymore after school. Oh yes. I'm gonna carry some G's in my pocket to buy a lot of pizza. The money is split between athletics, ladder truck pizza, and other school needs. With FLTV, I'm Michael Flangus, signing off. 
Facebook has many pros and cons. Here's Peter Corcoran with more. Hi, I'm Peter Corcoran reporting on Facebook. This is what students and teachers are saying. I think Facebook's the greatest thing made since keeping out the Kardashians. Well, I think Facebook can be a, a positive thing to keep in contact with, um, you know, friends and family that are maybe not live in the area. And that can be a positive thing, uh, but I also know that Facebook can also be used in a negative way too. So it's just like anything, the internet can be used for a positive thing, but then you can do inappropriate things on the internet too. So those are my thoughts. I like it and it keeps me connected with people from school. I think it's a good way to get stalked by some adult. These students tell us how often they go on Facebook. Just about every five minutes. Every single day. Joe Ender tells us if Facebook gets in the way of his homework. No, I still have plenty of time for algebra homework. Shout out to Mrs. Hazel. Facebook is, uh, it, can, it has been a problem at school at times, but I wouldn't say it's an overwhelming problem that we something we deal with every single day. But it, it does cause conflict, it has caused conflict between um, students before. Facebook is a great tool to stay connected with others, but used in the wrong way, it can really hurt someone. For FLTV, I'm Peter Corcoran, signing off. If you are interested in building robots, you will love this story. 7th and 8th graders are now being offered the robotics class. Josh Booten caught up with Mr. Cobra with more. I'm Josh Booten and I'm here to tell you about the robotics class. Mr. Cobra is very optimistic about his new class. We will be starting a robotics class next year for the middle school. And the goal of the class, it's a full year course, and the goal is for it to, it's a more advanced class and that we want it to compete uh, in local competitions that we have and there's regional and if we have a good enough team we can compete nationally and that's kind of the goal of the class so we can get into it. It's, it's just limited numbers, we got, it's going to be a small group of kids, it's a full year class like I said and I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be good for the school, good for the kids and we're going to have some fun. This is what Trevor Driscoll had to say about the brand new robotics class. Um, the robotics class is about you build robots and they perform different functions and you, they move around and you know you get to do a bunch of different cool yeah, stuff good. with these small robots. For more information about the robotics course, contact Mr. Cobra. I'm Joshua Buten signing off. Hey Alicia, I saw a great movie last weekend, Mission Impossible. Let's go to Rachel with some of the best and worst movies students have seen this year. Here's what people had to say about their best and worst movies. Uh, Hangover, part two. <laughs> My favorite movie is probably Titanic because of the dramatic scenes that were in it. I got you! Jump! Ah! I got you, miss. What's your least favorite movie? Alvin and the Chipmunks, the first one, because it was pointless, boring, and my family thought it'd be good, but it wasn't, and it was very bad. Uh, I'd say my most favorite is Anchorman. Awesome, and it's really funny. Paranormal Activity 3, because it's like a scary movie. I don't really like scary movies very much. Be of Life, what a stupid movie that was. Brad Pitt was in it, and I was I was looking at dinosaurs and the earth. I had no, I, I trying to figure out the connection to what the theme of the movie was about. It was horrible. My favorite movie ever is Lord of the Rings. Pick a movie, I love them. The first, second, and third, Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King. I've watched it a gazillion times, and I can't wait to watch it a gazillion more, and The Hobbit's coming out. A lot of movies have come out over the years, but everyone has different opinions on which ones are good and which ones are bad. For FLTV, I'm Rachel Timmons. Some of these movies sound great, and others not so much. Many 8th graders are looking forward to their high school years. Paul can tell us more about that. Paul? After this year, the 8th graders will be moving on to high school. Some students are geared up and ready to be freshmen, while others are not as concerned. Well, I'm thinking there's going to be some new girls, and that sounds really great to me. And so, that, that's my one thing I'm looking forward to in high school. I don't really feel anything yet, because I'm still in middle school. It's going to be a fun time and a good time to get ready for college. Well, I think it's really important to go to high school because it sets you up for your entire life and especially college. I feel like it's going to be difficult because everybody's just so big and I am small. Are you looking um, I'm excited. Well, I, I don't want to go to high school. 
A lot of 8th graders have concerns of what might happen in high school. Um, I think it's going to be a big step up for middle school and that the academics are going to be a lot harder. That I'm not going to get good grades and not get into a good college. Well, I think it'll be tough, but I think you can do it with enough work and, yeah. Probably just being a freshman because you're fresh meat. Concerns in high school are the girls. I've, that's my major thing. Girls. Well, it looks like high school is going to be a big step up from middle school. But it seems most 8th graders are ready for the challenge. For FL TV, I'm Paul Stevens. Oh, I'm looking forward to high school. New experiences and new challenges. For FL TV, I'm Zach Frew. And I'm Alicia Lowe. Stay holy, Faith Lutheran.